Bonjour, bienvenue, welcome. Um, I'm Marcel Ozier, I'm the President and CEO of Imagine Canada. I want to welcome you this morning and also on behalf of, of Ruth McKenzie and the Volunteer Canada Board uh, as this session is actually taking place within the, uh, the annual meetings of, of Volunteer Canada who is one of the key partners in this whole project. Um, so welcome everyone, bienvenue. Uh, C'est la quatrième enquête sur le don, le bénévolat et la participation. This is really, as probably many of you know, the largest the sort of the largest study of this kind in Canada, and I guess to our knowledge, probably the, la the largest in the world. So this is quite impressive. It's also um, a unique partnership between Statistics Canada, Volunteer Canada, Imagine Canada, and I think really a model for how government and voluntary sector can work together. So that's something I want to really do want to emphasize. The data that's being released today is of interest, and that's not always the case with data, but it's of interest to a very, very broad group of people. Of course, it's of interest to charities and to nonprofit organizations who will get a better sense of where things are going, where the trends, where the trends are going. It's also, I think, very important for governments at all levels, in terms of public policy, in terms of understanding what the issues are, in terms of looking at how all levels of government can support the work of charities and nonprofits and support. Canadians in their giving and in the time they, they do their volunteering. It's for media. Media has, I think, a number of stories here that I hope will be picked up, and it's a way for them also to look at the data and get a better understanding. It's information for donors and volunteers, of course, and for, gen I think, can for Canadians generally. Uh, it's a snapshot of how Canadians engage through their donations, through the millions of hours of volunteerism, and just through helping out their friends, their communities, their families, their neighbours. The survey and the analysis that has started a number of years ago, I was saying this is the fourth one, has really become the cornerstone of the knowledge that we have in many ways around giving and volunteering in Canada and around the voluntary sector. And that is, I think, huge. You know, the voluntary sector in Canada is a, is a very important part of our society. It's the second largest per capita after the Netherlands in the world. I also do want to thank uh, Statistics Canada and the government of Canada generally for its huge commitment to this project. Uh, it's been ongoing now for a number of years, and without Statistics Canada, this simply would not happen, and I want to thank you for that. En tant que Canadiens, nous devons certainement être fiers de notre engagement communautaire, et nous devons aussi continuer à chercher à pousser toujours plus loin. Le don et le bénévolat sont essentiels à notre bien-être comme société. Nos gouvernements jouent un rôle essentiel, c'est sûr, là, pour assurer notre qualité de vie, pour assurer la prospérité des Canadiens. Mais il faut le dire, sans le don, sans le bénévolat, sans l'entraide, notre société serait beaucoup moins riche qu'elle l'est aujourd'hui, ce, dans tous les sens. Les Canadiens sont généreux, ils sont généreux de leur temps, ils sont généreux de leur argent, et à mon avis, c'est certainement toute la société qui en bénéficie. Alors j'espère que notre rapport aujourd'hui sera un rappel important euh, et qu'il servira de base pour favoriser un engagement toujours plus grand et plus généreux. Et je pense qu'il faut mettre l'accent là-dessus, surtout en, ce, en cette période de difficulté de difficile économie, euh, un moment où la demande, les demandes sont constamment en hausse dans les communautés. J'espère que notre rapport aura un impact pour continuer euh, à rappeler aux Canadiens l'importance de la générosité et du don. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Jacqueline Meda, who is the director of uh, special surveys at StatCan, and who is, of course, our partner on this, who will come and talk to you. Uh, with a lot more eloquence than I could about the methodology and about the importance of this project for Stats Can and for Canada. Jacqueline. So, as has been mentioned, the Canada Survey of Giving, Volunteering and Participating is, conduct is conducted by Statistics Canada in partnership with other federal departments, the nonprofit, and the voluntary sector. Our federal partners include Canadian Heritage, Human Resources and Skills Development Canada, Health Canada and the Public Health Agency of Canada. From the nonprofit and voluntary sector, we partner with Imagine Canada and Volunteer Canada. In terms of history, as has been mentioned, it is the fourth iteration of this survey. In 1997 and 2000, the National Survey of Giving, Volunteering and Participating was conducted. Permanent funding for the survey program was provided directly to Statistics Canada in 2001 which led to a survey redesign and the Canada Survey of Giving, Volunteering and Participating of 2004 
and subsequently in this iteration in 2007. Changes from 2000, and from 2000 to 2004 included changes to the questionnaire and the methodology. Previously, the survey was conducted as a supplement to our labor force survey. Starting in 2004, random digit dialing methodology was used. This led to a break in the series and prevented any comparisons between 2004 and the previous years. The primary objective of the 2007 survey was to ensure that we maintain comparability with the previous cycle. We are happy to report that this objective was attained. Speaking more specifically about the 2007 survey, the content was mostly unchanged from 2004. Some content was cycled out to allow for new content. In 2004, there were questions on employer support and membership in organizations, commonly referred to as the participation module. These were replaced in 2007 with questions on youth experiences and skills obtained through volunteering. The survey data collection was conducted from September to December 2007. As in 2004, the CSGVP is the result of two separate but related surveys, the Canada Survey of Giving, Volunteering and Participating and the CSGVP North. The content is identical for the Northern Collection in all three territories. The CSGVP North used previous labor force survey respondents because ra random digit dialing is not a feasible methodology in all of the territories. The survey design allows for volunteering and giving rates at the territorial level. However, other characteristics are available only for the territories combined. In terms of the sample size, the number of respondents 15 years and older were 20,510 for the CSGVP in the provinces and 1,317 for the CSGVP in the north. And I would like to just in closing reiterate that this is a, a very well-functioning partnership between all of the parties and Statistics Canada and we're very happy that this 2007 survey has been a success. <laughs>